Welcome back to Every Shot Explained with this high handicap go for the here we are, hole 10, par 4, 320. We're gonna chunk this. It's gonna go about 100 yards into the fringe. Next, we're gonna forget that the lie here will send it way left. And we're gonna thank our lucky stars it didn't go in that bunker, but it just puffed a bunch of sand off the top and landed behind it. Here we're gonna chip onto the green and hope for the best. Take a deep breath. No joke, that was actually a quality chip. Look how close it was! Couldn't have done that again if I tried. So now we're about seven foot for bogey, I believe. This will be a nice add to the scorecard. Now, of course, we're going to smash it about eight foot past the hole. I believe we're further away now than we were when we started. Let's have another go. Nope, going to smash it again four foot past the hole, five foot, leaving myself loads more work to do for the triple. Oh, and he's going to miss that too. A quad. Put the flag in, you donkey. Let's reset ourselves here. It's a par 3, hole 11, 160 yards. I believe it's a 7 iron here. Let's have a nice easy swing. That's the name of the game. Easy swing. Let the club do the work. Don't let that left heel off the ground. Just a smooth swing through the ball, guiding it into the centre of the green. A foot away for birdie. Go on. Oh, and it's a bit of a slice. He's absolutely shanked that right of the green. But I think it's on the fringe. And here we are. Easy 35, 40 foot putt. Just get it close. Just just put enough on it. No, it's gone about 6 foot onto the green. That's for birdie. This is for par. We've still got another 25 feet to go. At least it's hard enough. Oh, what are you doing? Just take a deep breath. Look around to see if anyone saw that and uh, get this one in. Just redeem yourself. Oh, he's done it as well. Thank goodness for that. Get your ball and get out of dodge. So now, hole 12, par 4, 374 yards. Let's just stick this down the centre of the fairway. Not difficult. All the pros do it. Look how long I'm stood over the ball there. And he's absolutely smashed that one and shanked it a little. I believe that'll be in the right fringe. Just like almost every single shot. Note to self, uh, aim and left. Here we are again then. This is a nice shot. This should be an easy pitch onto the green. What is it, a 9 iron from here? Stood over the ball far too long again. I'm just thinking about things too much. I need to feel the swing. And I've absolutely cranked that over the green into those two trees there. Easy money now, simple chip on. You can see the rain coming down, it's a nice wet day here. And uh, nope, just chipping it onto the fringe again. And we're going to put it about halfway to the hole because that's the what we do here and that's what we like. Give us even more of a challenge to get this in from 8 foot. Let's see if he can do it. No, he's going to smash it past the hole a 5 foot, as is tradition in these parts. And then he's going to go for an extra challenging 4 footer. For the seven hole 13 par 4 288 yards this should be a good open fairway there that we can just drill it down the middle of and actually despite the little fake that actually worked i think it goes about 160 70 down the middle misses that bunker by a hair's breadth then we're going to go for the green here i believe absolutely cranked that down the middle happy with that lost it in the clouds but i'm pretty sure that ended up okay there's feathers everywhere. I think I killed a bird with that 9 iron. We're going to try and put this on. This is for birdie, I believe. Oh, and he's just whiskered past the hole. How agonizing. And a little tap in for par. An actual par. A real life par, guys. I cannot believe it. Get in. Hole 14, par 3, 288. Let's smash this over the lake we've thinned it to the back of the green there and we're lucky to avoid another pond sitting at the back that you can't quite see but we can chip on from here i know i used a seven iron with this and this was an absolute delight of a chip we're a tap in for another par can you believe it hole 15 par 5 four, four, one yards we are on a roll a few more pars and i can become pro we've smashed that over the pond and actually landed again right side of the fairway oh here's some geese here Delightful. And then we're going to smash this and absolutely hook it left over the trees there. 
luckily landed in a really good position where I thought I could do a pro tiger shot and whip it around that tree actually worked and narrowly avoided that bunker bouncing up towards the green little chip on not bad at all caught that way thin though and it went to the back of the green for another difficult putt here let's see if I can even get this remotely close and not leave it halfway god willing oh he's done alright there oh it's actually a very good putt for me it's left me about three foot and let's get this in for a calm chill six oh you absolute donkey that's a double hole 16 part 3 117 yards this is a nice one look at that another pond to get over and he's absolutely clobbered it and we're on the green in one what a miracle sacrifice to the golf gods and here we are with about 30 foot it's deceiving and I've smashed that it's creeping up but it's not enough we got about 10 foot for par here. Easy. No, of course, I leave it short. So here we are for a little tap in bogey. Why did I stand over that for so long? I was so scared. Hole 17, par 4, 323. This is a nice one. Narrow fairway, mind. Thwack! Smash that down the middle. see this one's massively uphill but we'll clobber it and narrowly miss those trees and actually head straight towards the green it was actually quite a good shot nope lied to you hit a tree bounce back onto the fairway there luckily look at that little dainty chip there up the hill i have to stand on my tippy toes to see and it landed not far away for a little tap in 12 footer uphill easy let's do this Ah, the par putt was not to be. That would have been another lovely par. Seems like our second nine here, we've warmed up a little bit and we're getting used to the greens a bit more. Maybe I should warm up before a round. Here we have a lovely time lapse as I walk to the 18th. Hole 18, par 4, 3, 4, 6 yards. Smash that down the middle. I'm quite happy with that. Second shot, of course, absolutely spanked it across the ground. Narrowly misses a groundsman, narrowly misses that bunker. We're happy to pitch over this fountain. Beautiful last hole and land to the right of the green. That uh, tracer wasn't correct. And now we're putting for par. Of course, we are probably the worst putt of the day. A good 15 foot right. I don't know where I was aiming. Are we going to get this even close to the hole for a bogey? And we do. We get it in for bogey. So there we are, guys. There is the last nine. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions, any requests. And, of course, feel free to subscribe if you like watching Bad Golf. And you can come along on this journey with me. Adios.